Alright, this is the fifth tutorial of the creating a module from scratch for 1.4 for Pressure Shop. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to cover hooks. And hooks are basically what attaches your HTML code to a specific part of your site. So, the configuration page that's an example of a hook, even though that's the only hook to work in a very simple way of just declaring it in a function whereas all the other hooks have their own certain syntax and um, procedure which is like three parts instead of just declaring one function so you have to attach the function to a call and then create that function and compile into a HTML holder so So just go back to the back office and look at the module at a minute. So a configuration page hook. This just consists of these two functions, which is it only needs this function really, but we just split it into two functions so that we can clearly see where the form the code for the form has been generated. So let's say we want to create a hook for just open the front page. Let's say we want to create a hook where we get a little pop down like a, a JavaScript message pop up when we go to the front page which basically has some debugging code for just looking at um just any kind of server related settings. I'm not sure why but it's a good example. Um, the first thing we need to do, there's three ways to work with hooks. I'm only going to show you one of the ways in this tutorial because it's the best way. And the other two ways, one of them is absolutely pointless because it's basically where you have to modify the core files of Press Shop to get it working. And there's no point in that since Press Shop has this hook system to allow you to not do that to make it easier and the other way is just basically transplanting modules and that's a bit more complicated and you don't necessarily need to do that so the first thing you need to do is it's not the only install function In, inside the install function you need to declare something which is referring to your class, the class of your module, so this, and then a function called register hook, and then where you want which hook you want to use. So basically, just go back. where you want the HTML to appear at. So to find out all the different hooks you can simply just do what I did, click on modules in back office and then positions and you can see there's all these different places to stick modules but you'll notice there's something here that says technical name and this is what you write in code so so it's right column blocks here. If you wanted to put some HTML in a right column block, which is basically this, the way you'd accomplish that is by using the register hook function, but instead of writing right space column space blocks, you just write right column exactly as it's written here. So through this positions page you'll be able to find all the different places you can have hooks and the relevant um, parameter you need for the function, so the name of the position, just by looking at the technical name. So just keep scrolling down 
I'm going to use header of pages. So you can see technical name header. And just type it in here. And you'll notice that I'm tying this in with the parent install function. So if this hook doesn't register, it it tells Prest Shop that it's not installed properly. Because this you basically need to hook a module well, when you first install a module, you have to tell it what hooks you want to use so that it knows what where to stick the HTML of your module into and what it wants to use. You don't need it for the uninstall function, you just need it for the install function. So that's the first part of working with hooks. And the second part is just creating a function to put all the HTML of your hook inside. So hook header and there's a variable you have to use by default called params and this basically just passes all the variables you can work with in Press Shop into that function. So we just check something. So just change that to lowercase. Cause that's the pattern the camel case kind of way of arranging things again. So inside here, we're just gonna declare global smarty. Whoops, done that completely wrong. There we go. That basically lets you use smarty to output the. HTML, because that's another thing, you can't just, you don't just return HTML, you have to use a smarty function with, um, alongside with a hook, so, just gonna, I'm not gonna do any complicated functions in this, I'm just gonna do the basics, so, smarty, Assign array now what I'm doing here is I'm assigning some variables to use inside Smarty templates. So in this case, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to inside a Smarty template have a um, a JavaScript um, external link, which will basically include this JavaScript file and inside that JavaScript file I'm gonna um, create a pop-up message and also in the template file I'm gonna make Smarty debug itself so the best way to explain that is just basically show you exactly what it's doing so Return this display file.
So you'll notice I'm using a function called display here, and this, if you'll notice, I'm calling a template file called header tpl, and this is basically how you call through a func through a hook function, which is the hook header. This is how I'm calling a template file, and the template file contains the HTML, which is going to be output on the hook. So in this case, it's header tpl, and we're sending a variable to be used inside this template called JS link, and the value of that is the a link to another file. So just save that. So in order for this to work, I now need to create these two files. So save these. So debug.js pop up into the debug.js file, so alert, which will create the pop up. Add that extra speech mark, and in here, th this in in PressShop 1.3 to add a a, um, a JavaScript or CSS file to any kind of page, you'd use the header hook and do it this way by using a template and then type in the script or style tag. So like this. And then in the source, you'd use the variable that was passed along in here, which is JS link. And then we'd write it like this. And then obviously with I know the script tag works, that link would be passed through as the module path than that. So that would link up correctly. But Press Show 1.4 don't like, allow you to do that anymore. It expects you to do it through um, functions which can be accessed from any hook anyway, so it's kind of pointless. So instead, I'm just going to add a debug in. This is smart a function, constant whatever, which basically um, brings up a smart debugging window with loads of development information on your store. So, save that, save that, so instead of using template, I'm going to use another function, so this is in the tool, tools class and it's called add.js and we're just going to copy and paste this, which is the path to the JavaScript file and save it all what's it doing? Um, Not sure why this is going slow as hell, but so just uninstall it. Because obviously we're doing tests on it again, so we need to reinstall it. Install again. And if we just go to the shop now, we get the alert pop up, which is in the debug file, which you can see here. Just go back. And once we'll click OK, we get the Smart Debug Console, which obviously we got in 
the template file, the header TPL. So, you can see everything's been done there. That wasn't exactly necessary, but that's how you'd do it for any other hook if you're using HTML in the template. So, I'm just sticking HTML in here. So, that's it, really.